Howdy guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 100% vegan brands. So half of them I have used, half of them I have not used yet. Then there is one skincare brand in each category. If you like cruelty-free and vegan makeup, stick around. I do three videos a week. So I feel like there's not a whole lot of mainstream brands that are 100% vegan. There's a lot of mainstream cruelty-free brands. And I would say the vast majority of cruelty-free brands are mostly vegan. Like there's not really any brands that are difficult to find vegan options in. There are a few that have like what comes to mind is Urban Decay. They have a lot of their palettes and a lot of other stuff has non-vegan ingredients in it. But for the majority of brands the stuff is vegan. It's with like the small few like red lipstick here and there or maybe one of their eyeshadow palettes has a red that's not vegan. And there are some brands like Bite Beauty that are transitioning to be 100% vegan but they're not yet I don't think. So I didn't really want to mention ones like that. So a problem that I ran into when I was looking up these brands was a lot of the 100% vegan brands are natural or like clean makeup and that's cool for them and that's cool for you if you like that kind of stuff but I really like to be honest couldn't care less. I know some people are like really opinionated about that but I really don't care. Like makeup is makeup. It's you know I feel like a lot of the time clean or like eco kind of stuff like eco packaging is cool but like the product itself it's mostly just a marketing tactic. Like they're not gonna sell you stuff with arsenic or whatever in it, you know, unless you buy fakes from like Poshmark or something, but that's another topic. So it was kind of hard to find this many brands that I liked, that I liked the style of, um, because I am more into the bold, intense, like long wearing makeup. And there's not too many brands that are like the natural or clean that do that. And all of these are found on the Logical Harmony cruelty free brand list. That is the list that I use. I am open to using brands on Leaping Bunny, but I don't think I have any currently in my collection that are not on Logical Harmony. Let's talk about the brands that I have tried. So some of these may not come as a surprise if you watch my channel for any amount of time. But the first one is Cover FX. Cover FX is mainly known for their, actually I think that's the, that's the only thing that they make, is complexion products. So I have this Power Play foundation and I also have the concealer of this and I used to have their custom cover drops. I didn't particularly like the custom cover drops because of the packaging of them but I think they might have changed it since then. I could be wrong. But they have a huge shade range. Like, I think they had a good shade range like before even Fenty was doing it. So I don't think Cover Effects gets enough credit for their foundation type products. Then they have a lot of mixer type things. They call them like custom enhancer or custom booster drops that you can mix in with your foundation or just use as skincare. The next one, this is going to be no surprise, but it is e.l.f. So e.l.f. is 100% vegan. They used to have some brushes, I think, that weren't vegan, but they've since changed that. Those are all gone now, which never made sense to me because they were so inexpensive. Like, I always thought that animal hair brushes were more expensive, you know? But it always blows my mind when I hear of people saying that they've never tried e.l.f. Like, if you tried them, like, back in the day, like, seven or eight years ago, <laughs> they have drastically changed since then. Like everything new from e.l.f. is good. Like I don't think there's really anything that I would say stay away from. Like I'm trying to think of all the stuff that I have from them. Like they have some stuff that's older, that's like an older formula, but if they've come out with it in the last couple years, like I would say even two to three years or so, it's good. Their new Camo CC cream that just came out. I know a lot of people have trouble finding their shade in this, but the formula is amazing. If you can find your shade in it, go for it. e.l.f. for sure has enough products for you to do a whole face of really inexpensive makeup. The most expensive thing that I have from them is going to be their eyeshadow palette like this. Um, like I have the opposites attract but they have several different shades of this and this one was like $14 I think and that's probably the most expensive thing besides some of their skincare. I just did a video about the top 10 makeup products under $10 and those are all vegan as well so go check out that video. I'll link it in the description. The next brand that I want to talk about is KVD Vegan Beauty. So I know that KVD is really controversial. Well they're KVD. I feel bad calling them KVD. It's KVD Vegan Beauty because 
KVD is no longer a part of the brand. So if you buy from them now, she's not getting any of the money. So just don't worry about it and quit like, <laughs> you know, complaining to people on Instagram and stuff for using their products because she's not part of it anymore. But ever since then, they kind of like, right after all the stuff happened with them, like the uh, drama, I'm not gonna get into it, but they kind of like died off. Like they didn't really release new stuff or the stuff they were putting out wasn't that great. But ever since, like their change, the stuff they've been putting out is amazing. And I used to have a ton of their products, but I had to throw them all away. They were just getting older. And with all the scandal stuff, I didn't really want to be promoting them anymore. But now I've repurchased quite a few things. And then I found some new things as well. So my standout from KVD Vegan Beauty is this Shake Primer. I did a whole video about this as well, but is it going to focus? Hello. Thank you. I did a whole video about comparing this to a normal primer, like an eyeshadow primer that's kind of like a nude color. Not really a nude, it's not nude for everyone, it's like that tan color, you know what I'm talking about. And their Epic Curl Lash Primer, I did a whole blog post about this one, but this really helps my mascara because mascara just kind of weighs my lashes down no matter what kind it is, no matter which one I try, but this underneath of any mascara really helps to keep the lashes curled. And the next brand I want to talk about is Lethal Cosmetics. So they are one of the, the newest to me on this list, but they are amazing. Like ever since I learned about the brand, I was like, this brand is for me. Like I am their target customer. <laughs> and here I made a custom palette with all of the shades from them that I wanted. And I also did a video where I organized this, but I have only tried these a few times and I can already tell they are just fantastic like some of the best eyeshadow that I've tried. The mattes are really bold and blendable and the shimmers are really intense. I can't wait to play with this some more but I'm trying to do a project pan with some eyeshadows and like rotate through other ones in my collection so hopefully I can get some time to play with these. They're most known for their eyeshadows and they also recently came out with face powders like bronzer and highlighters and blush. And they also have some lip products and um, eyeliners. The last brand that I have tried is Meow Meow Tweets. They are a skin and hair care brand, body care as well. But their thing is sustainable and recyclable, reusable packaging. So like I have this always on my vanity, this Tweet Orange Tangerine Vegan Lip Balm. This is in a cardboard tube. I have used up like over half of it, I think by now. And you just push up the tube from the bottom. It's all cardboard. And then once it's done, you can compost it or just throw it in the recycling. And they have deodorant in this style of tube as well. They also have deodorant in a glass jar and then they have refills of like liquid products. So I bought a huge refill of their uh, cleansing oil. Their, I think it's called the Lemon Rose, Lemon, Le wow, Lemon Rose cleansing oil. And I went through that really, really fast. I bought the small size and I went through it quick. So I reordered the bulk size. It's like a really big, I think it's like 12 ounces or something. And I can just refill my little bottle. Then once I'm done with that, the refill size, I can send it back to them for them to refill and possibly send back to me or I get you know another one that was sent back. But I love that they're trying to be more circular. I wish more brands would be like that. Not like exclusively eco-friendly, but I do try to you know, do that when I can, like with lip balm and deodorant and stuff that I use all the time. Now the brands that I want to try, but I haven't tried it yet. So all of these are pretty well indie brands. First one is Black Moon Cosmetics. So they have, I think an eyeshadow palette or two, and then they have a lot of liquid lipsticks, liquid eyeshadows. And I really want to try their liquid lipsticks because they have some unusual colors, like more grungy. And the next is Shroud Cosmetics. So the I was going through the Logical Harmony list and I could not for the life of me remember who was Strobe Cosmetics, but they have renamed themselves to Shroud Cosmetics. You might know them from the Creepy Cute palette and a few other things. They recently came out with a an influencer collab with Beat Bean and I think that like broke their website. <laughs> like they had to um, shut down and like get a whole new warehouse to be able to make those palettes because there was so much demand for them. Um, I really want that palette, but I want to wait because they're like, their website is kind of turned off right now so they can catch up on orders, which is a good problem to have. So I would love to get the Butte Bean palette and perhaps the Creepy Q palette uh, when they reopen. And the next one is Necromancy Cosmetica. So they are, I feel like in the similar realm as Black Moon Cosmetics, but they only have lipsticks and like a whole bunch of alternative kind of grungy, dark colors, like unusual ones. 
And I like that they have the cream or like matte stick version of lipsticks because sometimes my lips can't really handle all of the like liquid lipstick, the ones that are really drying. I used to be able to, and then something like a flip switched like this past year and I can't do it anymore. So like most of them don't work or I have to exfoliate the crap out of my lips. So I like having the option of a traditional lipstick. The last makeup brand that I wanna try is Elate Cosmetics. I know they fit into that, like I was talking about at the beginning of the video, they're that like eco-friendly natural kind of brand, but they do have a lot of cool products. Like they have some mascara, um, like refillable, things and bamboo packaging. I'm into the refill situation and wish more brands would do that, especially if it's a product that you find that you like and have to repurchase over and over. It's a lot better to buy a refill than it is to buy that huge packaging over and over again. And the last brand is Crave Beauty. So I've heard Rianne HY and a bunch of other people talking about Crave Beauty and they, I feel like their products are just the answer to a lot of my problems like with my skin and other things like they're really simple because I like using the same thing over and over again like if it works and I try something else it feels like it doesn't work so I want to replace some things with Crave Beauty like their cleanser is really gentle and doesn't strip your skin which is bad for it apparently <laughs> and I also need a new SPF which they have I ran out of my other one and I got a new one that I don't like so I need to try yet another one <laughs> So hopefully soon I'll be able to place an order with Crave Beauty because I, I don't know if I want to buy their whole line. Like they don't have that many products, but that's on purpose because they have like, like their products are really curated and designed to work kind of no matter what, like for any skin type, which I think is really cool. And they focus on them being more effective versus having like a thousand different things for each concern you might have. But I don't want to buy a whole bunch of new skincare all at once and then like switch all at once because you're not supposed to do that. So maybe I'll just replace a few things here and there. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these brands, like the ones that I have or haven't tried, or if there's any that are 100% vegan that weren't on this list that you want to try. You know, this is not a list of all of the 100% vegan brands. I just tried to narrow it down to five of each category. <laughs> click up here to watch my most recent video or click up here to watch another one that I think you might like. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss seeing my face in your subscription box every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Although I have been off track here recently, I'm trying to get back on track, okay? <laughs> um, links to my social media, my business, and my blog will be in the description box below and I'll see you guys in the comments. Bye!